On October 1st, at the International Music Day, the music season started at the Kazakh Concert, the national concert organization of the Ministry of Culture and Sports of the Republic of Kazakhstan. The Academy of Solwis's National Chamber Orchestra, the leading musical ensemble which was founded by the initiative of Ayman Musakhat Jaiva, the People's Artist in 1991, performed at the event. The coming season promises to be very eventful because the Kazakh concert is launching a series of concerts. At the very first concert will be the Academy of Solwis's National Orchestra. The concert calendar is approved till May 2019. Ten concerts will be held in the first six months and 14 in the second half of the year. There will be two events available in the first half of the year. There is a schedule for all the concerts, and the second part of it will be available soon. There are concerts from January to May. The busiest concert schedule and participation in international festivals, nationwide tour and abroad are coming ahead. The Academy of Soloist Orchestra have several times presented musical art and singing traditions of Kazakhstan abroad. This time they will visit St. Petersburg, the north capital of Russia. Since its establishment, St. Petersburg has been the capital of three states, experienced three revolutions and changed to three names. But it has always remained the epicenter of the cultural life of Russia. The status of the cultural capital of Russia is not a cliché. It is true and the confirmation can be found in the history of the city. The first theatres were established in the time of Peter I, and the number of museums is over 200 now. The musical culture of St. Petersburg is impressive too. The concerts of symphony and chamber orchestras are being held here almost every day. The opening of the concert season of the Academy of Solwis's National Chamber Orchestra will be in the Sheremetyev Castle. This concert will display the achievements of Kazakh National University of Arts at the same time because our students are playing in the orchestra. We have come here by the invitation of St. Petersburg Conservatory. We have signed a cooperation agreement, agreement on students' mobility, concerts and festivals. And of course, it is our honor to be on stage during the musical week, the conservatory week. We are performing in the most beautiful castles of St. Petersburg. The International Conservatory Week Festival was established by the St. Petersburg State Conservatory named after Rimsky-Korsakov in 2001. Over the previous 17 years, more than 270 high schools of music from five continents took part in the festival. And this year, a new country appeared on the map of International Week. Fourteen high schools of music are taking part in our week this year. We designed four programs in eight days. We are working with different halls. There are 12 halls and more than 25 events of scientific educational sphere. We are glad to see the High School of Music from Kazakhstan is joining us this year. This school is led by Ayman Musakhat Jaiva, the rector, the People's Artist of Kazakhstan and the worldwide famous violinist. We are glad that she came here to take part in our programs. It is very interesting for us, and we do hope our guests will enjoy their concerts and like everything they see in St. Petersburg. It is unimaginable to accept the breathtaking view of the gorgeous bridges and banks, parks and castles lying under the grey sky of St. Petersburg and on the silver shrine of the Nieva in the background. Famous architects, writers, filmmakers and musicians adored this feature of the unique North Capital. It is a very beautiful city. Many outstanding persons came from the city. Tchaikovsky graduated from St. Petersburg Academy. I am really happy to be in such a city. Magjan first visited the city four years ago. He took part in international contest for young performing art named after Sviridov. He took the third place there. Today, Magjan Sagadi is a third-year student at the Kazakh University of Arts.
When I was younger, I dreamt to perform in this orchestra. I attended its concerts and dreamt that one day I would be working with these people. Entering the university, I got a chance to be a part of the orchestra. I came, played and got a job. Highly qualified musicians are working in the orchestra. These are laureates of international contests in the orchestra, which is why I wanted to get this job. And now we are working and touring together. The fifth day of the festival, one of the compositions of Mozart is being played in the White Hall of the Sheremetyev Castle. The Academy of Soloists is rehearsing the concert program. It will be their turn to continue the Orchestra Academy's concert marathon tonight. Let's draw our attention to the castle while musicians are busy. Under the graphs of the Sheremetyevs, the Fountain House was one of the great centers of St. Petersburg, a meeting place of outstanding musicians, cultural figures and scientists. In fact, the palace is a museum of the history of the Sheremetyevs, which played an important role in the Russian state. Today, the Museum of Music occupies the castle, the base of which is the largest collection of musical instruments from around the world in Russia. The last part of instruments was transported to the museum exactly at the turn of the centuries, on December 30th, 1999. Here you can see unique exhibits, such as the violin that belonged to Mikhail Ivanovich Glinka, copies of antique instruments made in the 19th century based on the originals. The whimsical forms of ancient harps, violas, harpsichords are unusually compatible with the style of the palace. The openwork pattern of the iron fence and the stucco decorations of the interiors. Значит, императорская коллекция музыкальных инструментов берет свое начало от нашего императора Александра III, который был очень музыкальным и играл на нескольких the imperial collection of the musical instruments originates from our emperor Alexander III, who was very musical and played several musical instruments. Actually, he played the brass, here are his tuba, carnets, as well as instruments of Alexander III that were presented to our empress Maria Fyodorovna. And of course, the kit is presented here. This is not a whole orchestra, because there are horns that have reached four meters in length. Each of these horns have only one sound. I need to outline the note, which is actually the music book of 1801. <laughs> отметить, что сохранилась партитура, да, нотная тетрадь 1801 года. Having finished our journey through the pages of the past, we return to the White Hall just in time for the end of the rehearsal. Mikhail Kirgov is at the conductor's stand. Two years ago, he was engaged as the principal guest conductor of the Academy of Solvices Orchestra. I think having young generation in the Academy of Soloists is a great luck. They are professional musicians, laureates of international contests. These are our young talents. This time, in order to comply with the general format of the festival, we brought young musicians on tour here. The associate professor of the St. Petersburg Conservatory, Alexei Ludovic, will also take part in the concert. The duet of the famous viola player and outstanding violinist Ayman Musakhot Jaiva is a unique workshop for the musicians of the Academy of Solvices who are the young students and graduates of the University of Arts in the past. This is what we say. This is primarily what we say, the transfer of professionalism, the skills that are shown in the play and the wishes that are expressed to our musicians during the rehearsals and the show at the concert. All of these are like big workshops for our young people because they absorb it like a sponge. And then they will pass it to the next generations which they will train, with whom they will travel abroad, with whom they will perform on the world's leading stages in the future. Потрясающая скрипачка, старый.
She is an incredible violinist and an amazing organizer. I do not understand how she manages to play and lead the work which she is responsible for. It is admirable and fascinating. The team touring with continuing success is playing Mozart's Concert Symphony for Violin and Viola with the orchestra and three idols of Frank Bridges, an English composer. The repertoire is usually the same for each concert on world tour, but this music is rarely performed. I walked away from classical reading a little. I took some of my pace and I presented these three idols or three novels as I called them in my own way. For example, there are places where the author writes no slowdowns or accelerations, but nevertheless, I do them. Well, I hope that it's not harmful. This is simply my interpretation. Looking ahead, it can be outlined that the St. Petersburg audience is demanding, thoughtful and prepared. And he accepted the performance by giving the Kazakhstani team loud and standing ovation. I received great pleasure with both the people and music. I was pleasantly surprised by the youth of this rather old school music and I liked its optimism. I also like the director. Honestly, I have not heard such a performance for a long time. I noticed very great mutual understanding. There were great virtuosity and emancipation in the performance. And it was very, very nice. The young guys struck by their spontaneity and honestly, I want to tell you that such enthusiasm is rarely seen in reputable orchestras. The Academy of Soloists Orchestra consists of highly professional musicians, half of which are laureates of national awards, professional and experienced artists, and the others are winners of international competitions, talented students and graduates. Islam Aliyev is a third-year student of Kazakh National University of Arts. As a college student, he took second place in the international competition Siberian Musical Assemblies in Novosibirsk. He has been working in the Academy of Soloists for two years. He came to the renowned group having had a certain experience. The young musician gained his orchestral practice while working in City Philharmonic Society. We have a very friendly team and very good players of woodwinds. It is very comfortable for me to play with these people whom I am working with now at the Academy of Soloists and Ayman Khoja Bekovna. First of all, this is the merit of our rector. She organizes projects in which guest conductors participate. Recently, we have had a pass where we played seven concerts in two weeks, and it was very cool. All these facts say that this orchestra is amazing. Islam has been inseparable with his oboe for 15 years. The musician admits the instrument is complicated. It is difficult to maintain and has a number of specific instructions. There are two of us in the team. Another wonderful oboist is Lilia Abdurrahmanova, who was once my teacher. And by the way, the competition in Novosibirsk was under the command of Lilia Kamatovna Abdurrahmanova. Then I brought a diploma for her as my teacher. And now we are working together. International Conservatory Week is a musical kaleidoscope where every concert is a unique story with the participation of musicians of various performing traditions. The Kazakhstani team came along with musicians from Germany and Hungary this evening. The performance of the Academy of Soloists Orchestra is a new chapter in the book of International Conservatory Week. It is another milestone for the musicians themselves which makes it possible to consolidate the deserved status of the country's landmark musical brand in the field of world chamber, symphonic and instrumental music once again. <laughs>